Hi, I'm Dr. Imber. We're going to continue our little talk about uh, facelifts and deep plane facelifts. Um, but let me first tell you the deal about deep plane facelifts. They are not new. Uh, they've been done for 30 years. Um, most of us have done them and, and abandoned them over the years. There are reasons to abandon them. Those reasons are legion, but uh, they start with the fact that if you're doing a true deep plane and you're lifting under the muscles and trying to lift muscles up, you're also entering an area where the nerves that make those muscles move enter the muscles. And it's risky business if you hit one of them. Um, the second reason is there's much more downtime, much more swelling. Um, and the third reason is the deep plane facelift that most people are selling these days isn't even a deep plane facelift. It's just a smash facelift and a little bit, um, a little bit of the deep plane moving a little bit of the platysma muscle. Um, not much more than that. You don't get much more than that. And it's really, there really is an artificial, um, uh, is it, there's an artificial distinction between what's almost a deep plane facelift and what's a smash normal facelift. Um, and you have to talk to your doctor about it, try and understand it, and try and get what's best for you, not a one-size-fits-all. That doesn't work.